Hello dear children I welcome you in this new session as well as I welcome you in today's English class Dear children if you consider about school the first thing comes in your mind that is teachers as well as if teachers are there definitely work will be there homework so what should be your opinion about homework it can be good it can be bad some of you may like homework as a opportunity as an opportunity some of you may hate it so let's start who did patrick's homework patrick is our main leading character of this story let's see we are talking about this patrick who did his homework generally it is expected that you should do your homework yourself let's see who did patrick's homework patrick never did homework too boring he said patrick was not good in doing homework he never wanted to do any work and he considered it very very boring he played hockey and basketball and nintendo instead instead of doing homework he wanted to play games and he was very interested in playing so many games patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus but what could he do he hated homework though he knew it that he will he knew it that he will remain ignorant if he will not do his homework if he will not concentrate in his studies he he won't be able to do good in his life somewhere patrick knew it but whatever happened patrick was not at all serious in his studies and he did not want to do any homework then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away see first paragraph tells us about our main leading character that is the patrick and then story moves ahead then one day what happened he found a cat and the cat was playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away he just took the doll away he to his surprise it was not a doll at all but a man of the tiniest size the cat was playing with a doll he thought that was a doll but actually it was not a doll but it was a dwarf a human being of very small size he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's he yelled meaning shouted save me don't give me back to the cat i'll grant you a wish i promise you that so when he noticed he looked towards the man the tiniest man the man was shouting the man wore a cap a shirt pant and he was shouting please do not uh, give back to me to the cat Be uh, because the cat would definitely kill him he said i would fulfill one of your wish i promise you please you have already saved me please do not give me back to the cat patrick could not believe how lucky he was here was the answer to all of his problems now patrick who did not like to do his homework he considered it as a as an opportunity he became very happy to know that he was very lucky that at last this uh, this uh, doll or this dwarf man was going to give one wish definitely he was going to ask him to do his homework so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days he said 35 days homework if you are ready to do for me of one semester then i will surely follow your command if you do a good enough job i could even get a's a meaning a plus he said and if your job would be good if you will do my homework in a good way definitely i will get a grade so this way he uh, he was ready to follow his 
uh, to save him and he can do his homework this deal he wanted to make with this dwarf man the little man's face wrinkled like a dish clothes thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scrawled and pursed his lips oh am i cursed but i will do it and now the little man made various sort of faces he made various terrible faces but he said oh it's not a good thing for me but definitely i will do it for you and true to his word he said because i have already promised you i will do your homework so definitely i will do i have to do it and true to his word that little elf elf meaning the dwarf elf elf began to do patrick's homework now the elf had started doing patrick's patrick's homework as per as his promise expert there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way because patrick was not in habit of doing all sort of work so patrick in between uh, uh, no the elf was not in habit of doing so much of work thus this work was very new for him so he asked him to help him and when he asked help patrick had to help him because he was also helpless if he would not help definitely his work was going to incomplete i don't know this word the elf squeezed while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it by each letter he said i don't know this word you better give me the dictionary or it's better if you will read this letter for me so this way dear children today we will do this much i hope you will follow it